All right, guys, here we are. Skyline GTR R33. Have this car for 24 hours. Gonna go for a quick drive. We'll do a quick walk around of the car here. See what it looks like. It's pretty clean. We have the R34 wheels on there. Has an exhaust. It looks pretty clean. So I had the opportunity to rent this car for 24 hours. I'll leave a link down below where you can find the find this car. They do rent cars to anyone with a valid driver's license, and a passport, and an international driver's permit. So I'm gonna start it up. Here's the key. This is a pretty standard GTR key, very heavy. Uh, here it is. Got on GTR white R33. There it is. Pretty standard inside standard seats. They are very supportive. I did drive the car here, obviously. Uh, decent back seat, very small. Have our book bags in there. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. This is a 95 R33, but yeah, you can see. Pretty nice dash. Has an aftermarket boost gauge here. Uh, your factory boost gauge. Five speed manual. And. Your AC control is down here in the glove box. So I'm gonna start it up. I move the car to the sun where we can have better light and then uh, do a quick walk around. So this is a hot start, so nothing too crazy. Go on first gear here. I'm gonna go near the sun so we can have a better feel for the car. Then I'll pop the hood so we can take a look inside. Turn that off. Alright, that's the hood. We'll go ahead and take a look at it quickly and then do a walk around. Here's the lever. All right, RB26 inline six, uh, six cylinder engine here, twin turbocharged. Pretty decent, pretty standard engine. By now you should know these cars, pretty standard high horsepower engines. We'll go for a quick drive here and um, see how it goes. But this combination of the wheels and the white make it look really nice. Nice aftermarket exhaust. Pretty spectacular car. Pretty standard Brembo brakes. You know, this car is all wheel drive, has the ICAS rear steering system. So, yeah, pretty cool. So a little bit about the car. The car is an old school car, obviously. Um, no, nothing new as far as the dashboard or anything. Still old school gauges. As I said before, you have your AC controller in the glove box with your flares, your two flares. That's a requirement in Japan in case you have an accident or a breakdown on the side of the road, you have a flare. But the center console, it's driver focused, driver centered, obviously. It's almost like a Supra. Or your typical 90s car where it kind of turns a little bit more towards the driver the driver centered but you have your uh, front torque gauge so this car is rear real bias but then if it needs it it'll send power to the front oil pressure gauge and then your boost gauge which never really works in any factory car but it's working then you have your aftermarket steering unit so that's that the cluster looks pretty cool though. It's analog, but it's very legible, very clear. The tachometer goes to like 10,000 RPM. 8,000 is the red line. Like right now we're doing only 2,000 RPM, if that, and we're doing 80 kilometers an hour. So 
we never get to exploit the real power out of this car. I mean, this car really wakes up at around four and five, and this is a twin turbocharged car, so the small turbo is doing the work at these RPMs, and then the bigger one kicks in the higher, so we never really get to exploit it. So, uh, back seats, yeah, in her position where she's sitting right now, there's enough space for a back seat passenger, but in my seat, meh, not much. Interior is very bland, like a 90s car. The seats are pretty cool though. They look like regular seats, but they are very supportive on the side, so you don't get tossed around. But comfortable enough for a two hour drive. And in this case, we are doing two hours today, two and a half hour drive. So yeah, I like it. All right, my turn to drive. Let's get out of here.
time goes and uh, the rates are pretty decent. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. We'll see you next time. Peace!